Hello everyone and happy Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me here in Pooh Bear's Precious Pumpkin Patch. And you're here with me, Pooh Bear 253. And we are here with my sweet new addition. And I have a nickname for this little girl. As you guys know, I was calling her Maggie, but then I was like Maggie Mae to make it even more countryfied, even more Southern. <laughs> so her nickname is Maggie Mae. This is my Abigail Magnolia. Right here, she is the newest addition to my nursery. And I am here to do her pajama of the night video. I had a wonderful day with hubby today. I had to do a little homework. Um, had to do some letters training that because um, last week starting Wednesday, we um, it's leap time. So my kids don't take leap tests. So we go on field trips. So last Wednesday, we went to the zoo. Thursday, we went to the movies. And Friday, we had a splash day at the park so I had a very very busy week and I'm not done tomorrow which is Monday they're going to the library for a tour and a story time and then to the park to have lunch and to play and on Tuesday we're going bowling so I've been real busy I was kind of tired, but I had to, and like, uh, while mentioning that is I didn't get to finish my letters training for the week. I don't, I'm the type of person, like, I don't like to get behind when it's something I have to do. I want to, I want to, I want to stay, um, on target and stay on schedule with the little schedule that they have for us. So I had to bring my Chromebook home to finish up session seven. Well, session, yeah, seven. And I had to, and on the weekends, I like to get myself a head start and I read the chapter that I have to read for that week. So that's one less thing I have to do. And I could just watch the videos and answer the questions and do the little test. And then I'm done. So I did that today. I finished that up. So that I can, so now I'm back on track. And after that, I was like, I want to go take a bike ride, but I'm tired. And then and we, hubby and I was eating, or eating breakfast on the weekend. I have a omelet with turkey bacon. I used the little egg maker in the little carton instead of the real eggs to kind of cut back on a little bit of the cholesterol and stuff. So I had that and I was talking, I was like, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take us a bike ride. So after I finished doing my homework, we got to take a bike ride. Um, and it was so fun. It was perfect day, blue skies, no, not a cloud in the sky. nice and breezy um perfect temperature not too hot um and it felt great and we just had a wonderful time and we got back home i had a nice treat i had a popsicle and it was so good because it was i was all nice and toasty after doing that workout so i had a popsicle and then we got in the shower and then i was like i got some time let me go do Maggie Mae's pajama of the night video. And that's what we're doing. This little outfit that I'm taking off of her with the little kitty cats. This little Cardis outfit is like so super cute. Anything with cats on it or Winnie the Pooh. It's like, and if it's super cute, it's like not leaving my collection. So I'm going to put that back up. So yeah, so this is my little Maggie Mae. If you guys don't know, she is the precious gift. Oh, 
And I forgot I had put it on the screen last time. Oh, who was the sculptor? Darn it, I can't remember. I forgot again. I forgot again. Uh, oh well. Well, you guys know who it is. Um, uh, mm, no, it's not coming to my brain. I guess I'll have to flash it across the screen again because I just can't remember stuff. <laughs> so, so yeah, and she was created by my favorite artist. Like she has. Um, Definitely stolen my heart with her gorgeous babies, Adriana, over at Relaxing With My Reborns on Instagram. She's like my favorite artist. I love her babies. I have four of her babies, and I just think they're super cute. So since the last time I saw you guys, uh, we had some tree work done had a tree that was dying in our front yard. These are her socks she's going to wear. So we got that cut down and the uh, stump grounded up and we have, we had, we had four smaller trees in the front of our house, like two on the right side, two on the left. And we um, opted to cut down two of the trees. So now we just have one tree on the right and on the left. And it just kind of clears up the front yard a little bit, makes it look a little neater and everything. So, and we had another tree cut down in the backyard that was kind of serving no purpose, pretty much. And we got had some limbs cut off of our other trees that remain so that to kind of keep, you know, clean the tree up after a few years of. You know, you have to maintenance wise and anybody, all my homeowners out there know maintenance wise, you got to, you know, clean up branches and stuff to keep their trees looking good and stuff. So we had that done. And now I'm on the lookout for someone to redo our driveway because our driveway is a hot mess. It's kind of all broken up towards the bottom. And just to kind of help with the curb appeal, just want our property to look as nice as possible. Want to get that redone and possibly the sidewalk redone as well. So I have one person that I'm waiting on a quote from. And I need to reach out and try to find some more people that might uh, be able to help us. And once we are done with that, I'll be super excited to start working on closing in our back patio so that we can go out there and chill in the spring and fall time when it's cooler and it's gonna be like screened off so I won't have to worry about being bitten by those pesky mosquitoes. Oh, she's so sweet, look at this little girl. So, um, as far as the precious gift sculpt goes, like my favorite aspect or favorite, oh my goodness, I will have to say the ears are just so perfect to me. I love the two little fists and just that little sleepy scrunched up face and the little button nose and the little lips and just the size of this sculpt is so cuddly and... I just, this is like one of my all time favorite sculpts. Between this one and the Cheyenne, like those, they're like, I'm like really into like the nostalgia, like the older sculpts. They just really, uh, I just gravitate towards the older sculpts now. They just really grab my heart. And I think this was a, the, the pajama that came with her. I can't remember. And so I didn't get any mitts because I'm just going to flip over the little hand mitts for her. I think this was the pajama that came with her. So I'm putting this little Cloud Island pajama that I'm getting her in. And like I say, I hadn't really had time to snuggle and love on her too, too much because I've been busy and whatnot. But I just am so in love with this little girl and her brother. 
but like right now since she's newer I've been giving her more attention so I think Arden might be getting a little bit jealous <laughs> but he loves his twin sister so he doesn't mind sharing the attention but yeah she is just over sweet to me just this sculpt is so cute and the way Adriana brings her babies to life. I just love them so much. But yeah, um, other than that, let's see. I'm just gonna go chill with hubby for the rest of the night and get ready for work. And like, oh my goodness, you guys, I looked at the calendar the other day and there's like literally three weeks left of school. Like, that's it. There is three weeks left of school. And I will be getting ready to head out to catch a plane soon thereafter to go enjoy some time in Hawaii. With my hubby, I like me and him. We're super, super excited about our vacation. Super, super excited to go hang out on the beach and everything. So, yeah, I can't wait to come back and share with you guys photos and stuff of our trip. So, that was a, that was a pretty quick little change in video, huh, Mama? So I had already sprayed her pajama and everything with my, with our lovely baby powder scent there. So I think I'm going to find her a... Well, this one kind of matches. The purple's a little bit darker. So I think I'm going to find a lighter pacifier keeper. I don't know. I might not worry about it. <laughs> and I need to put... I hadn't had a chance to put a piece of felt over there. So I don't, I don't just keep this on her face. I just love the little matching bottle and pacifiers. It's so cute. But I don't keep it on her face so it don't scratch up her paint on her lips or anything. But I'm just going to bundle this little cutie up. And take her to the living room with me. And enjoy snuggling with her on the couch. So, like I say, this was a little short video. I just wanted to pop in and say, hey, on this awesome Sunday, I had a great weekend. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend as well. And I hope you all have a safe and productive and prosperous and fun work week ahead. Like I say, I am in shutdown mode, but supposedly I got an email Friday <laughs> before I left work. And I think I have not one, not two, but three new students coming to my classroom. One of them came Friday, but we were on a field trip. So she, uh, one of the other ESS teachers, uh, she stayed in one of the other classes. I haven't even met the girl. And she checked out and that she was still in with the other teacher. So I don't even know what she looks like and supposedly there are two boys that are supposed to be coming to my class and they're all second grade so yeah so that's going to be interesting on Monday because I have a field trip so I don't know who's going to watch those kids because they are not on the trip ticket I don't have lunch for them and I wouldn't take kids that I don't I don't know anything as far as their behavior goes I don't know anything about these kids I would never ever take them off campus not knowing anything about them how they would how they would react um out in public so I don't know what I'm gonna do with those other three kids I don't know if I can leave them with somebody but the thing is everybody's testing and they have so many small groups and there's like no extra people to help out so it's kind of craziness so they're just gonna have to hang out with one of the other ESS classrooms until Wednesday because hey it is what it is but so that's what I have to look forward to I was like three weeks left and I get three kids one for each week huh 
yeah but i'm um interested to learn about them but it's kind of weird because if they're in second grade i don't know if they're repeating second grade next year because if not they would be going on to the next classroom anyway because my classroom i only have kindergarten through second grade in my class so that's kind of weird too so i have no idea very weird but anyway that's it that was just my little rant like i'm like oh god where why are they sending three kids to me at the end of the year it's just crazy how things play out um that's the crazy life of a teacher um uh, but that's it this is my little maggie may she is the precious gift sculpt and like i say i don't remember the artist's name and i don't even know if i'm gonna put this video up today you guys might see this video at another time because i don't think i'm gonna feel like editing it right now but yeah cindy musgrove I think that was it. Precious gift by Cindy Musgrove. Ha <laughs> ha, I remember it. Woohoo. And this is my little Abigail Magnolia. I'm going to go hang out with hubby, watch some TV, and snuggle with her on the couch. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you really, really, if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you really, really enjoyed it, our video please go ahead and click that bell so you'll be notified each and every time that i upload a video that's it for now ta-ta and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah! peace bye-bye and i'll see you guys in the next video bye